Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different that I haven't done before on this channel. Uh, actually, I did... Okay, so what I'm doing... You, you read the title. Yes, I am building uh, a beta bulb. So, I have had a beta before, so you probably have seen... Uh, if you've watched my older vlogs, I did used to have a beta, so I'm going to do it completely different this time. This time, I'm going to do it in a bowl. Um, eventually, it'll be all all natural right now. I'm kind of working on a budget, so I'm working with what I what I got, and you know, I really only need to get a a couple things in the beta which is pretty much the beta and the food and uh, I picked out a good bowl and uh, some rocks for the bottom. I really wanted sand but I was only looking at Walmart and I didn't want to have to stop somewhere else so eventually I'm going to switch it over to sand and maybe soil and sand. Um, so I am building an all-natural 10-gallon tank, um, all-natural aquarium. So that'll be right behind me there. I already got the tank, but that won't be uh, finished until next month. So there, there will be a video on that, but not for at least another month. It is going to be all-natural, all live plants, so... Um, when I do get the live plants for that tank, I am going to put it in the put get some also for the the beta bowl, and then take all the art, fake artificial plants out of the beta bowl, and it'll just be all live plants. So, anyways, we're starting off with uh, the minimum uh, minimal of what I got, and I uh, I do have a plant that I'm going to be growing out of it so which you'll see as I set up the uh the bowl I almost said aquarium it's a bowl slash aquarium there we go so um there we go and then after I set up the bowl tomorrow uh I'm going to be going and picking out a beta at the store and I'm going to be taking you guys along with me when I do that so let's get setting up the bowl So right now what I'm doing, I just got out everything that I have that I might use. I'm not saying I'm going to use it all. I'm certainly going to try to fit as much as it, of it in the bowl as I can. I definitely know I won't be able to. Like these, I probably will be a bit too big to put in. So um, a bit too small, but hopefully I can at least fit all the green stuff in, I'm hoping. So, uh, well, um, so what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to put these in a bowl of really hot water and just let them soak for a little bit and uh, just get anything off of them because some of the stuff has been sitting for over 10 years unused in storage pretty much so um, I just want to disinfect anything as much as I can so yeah. Alright, let it fill up. I'm not going to use any soap or anything, just pure hot water. Uh, I don't want to boil it. I just really just kind of need to see there's a bug in there that we're See if it's getting in storage. Exactly what I want to do, just pretty much rinse anything off. I'm just going to let this soak for a little bit. Okay, now while we're waiting for those to soak a little bit, I did rinse the bowl out with hot water as well just you know just be on the safe side so right now I figured we could at least put the gravel in I wanted sand as I was saying earlier um, but Walmart did not have sand this was closest thing to sand or a naturalistic looking bottom that I wanted so I just went with that I'll probably end up 
switching to sand in the future. I may just get another bowl and, uh, you know, go back and forth between two bowls. That way it's easier because uh, one will be ready while, oh, you, 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 you know, I can switch it back and forth or switch the beta back and forth and I can work on one bowl and then I can switch this one to sand and I'll have two bowls and I'll have an emergency bowl pretty much. So that'll probably what I'll have to do later on down the road. But this will be good for now. So let's put it in. Probably about good. Well, there's how it looks from the top. I figured that should be good. Also, guys, I have a Patreon now. If you guys want to support everything I'm doing, everything that you contribute not only will go toward future videos, things I do for you guys, it supports my animals as well. And once I get, let's say, at least 10 people in my Patreon, I will be active in there and start to post exclusive stuff regularly, pictures uh, and videos of my animals. And I will also do exclusive lime live streams just for the members. So also along with that, I also have a Discord that I want you all to join, so the link is below. I'd love it if you guys joined my community. I'm trying to build a, yeah, a, a little community, so feel free to join. All right, I just took these out of the water. I just picked out what I think I'm going to be able to fit in there. I don't even think I'll be able to fit everything here, but so I figured I'm going to keep it all, all the, as much plants as I can. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to fit this big one, but I want to. Anyways, so first I'm going to fill this up with water. No, I'm just going to start off with a cup of water. And gently pour that in. Now, if there's any, uh, still any floaters, uh, you know, from the pebbles at the bottom, I'll just, if they're still floating by tomorrow, I'll probably just scoop them out. There, now it's filled enough to where I can put plants in. So I like that this is actually floating about, so more coverage, so that's actually good. I'm also probably going to put more water in after I put everything in, just Um, again, I know it looks crowded, 
but a beta is like places that are crowded so the more coverage the the better although actually I think I'm gonna take one of these things out There, I uh, crowded it less a little bit. I think it'll be better. Actually, this will go good. Move these over here. So, there. That looks good. I also have that plant, this pothos plant, I'm willing to hang in, dangle in it so the roots are in it. But So now I'm just going to go... Fill a little bit more water, fill it up just a little bit, I don't need too much more. And then, uh, pretty much just let it sit and clear up and acclimate, and then tomorrow we'll get the fish. So they're pretty much, now we just let it sit. So, I got some of this water conditioner I'm going to put in it as well. Just to be on the safe side because this is shitty tap water. Um, you know, it should be fine after I think it's 12 hours that it, everything evaporates anyways. But I'm paranoid and I don't trust that that's going to be enough. So use this. And if that's still not good enough that if I have high chloramine, then what I want to do is get vitamin C tablets. So vitamin C is what will help with chloramine because chlorine gets evaporated. Now, if you have an ammonia problem, that's why live plants are best, why I'm going to be switching this over to live plants only uh, next month. So... But this is good for now. Just gonna let this sit and alchemy, and then tomorrow we'll get the fish. So I know the lighting's not the greatest, it's because the sun's going down. I just moved it off of my desk and put it on the windowsill like I wanted it to. I had to move finagle around my rock collection. So um, it's just more sturdy and I feel more better about not not knocking it over there. Sorry about the fire trucks. I live near the fire station. You can probably see I'm leaving there. Yeah. So that's how close I am to the fire station. Right outside my window basically. So I was just worried about knocking, possibly knocking into the desk and sitting right here in the back corner. I am just worried that I would have knocked it over. So just to avoid any accidents, I moved it up here plus when i switch to live plants they're gonna do much better in the window i think anyways or closer to the window i mean so i'm gonna put those in tomorrow as well before i get the beta because i don't want to put them in the water right now uh for the same reason as i don't i'm not gonna why i didn't get the beta today so anyways let's have a little bit of a look uh of what we can get I think that looks pretty good. Again, I'm switching over to live plants uh, next month, but I think that'll do good for for now. So I just messed around, stuck my hand in there, and tried to. Um, I, I didn't do a very good job. My OCD is getting triggered. Um, that the sand isn't completely level, uh, the gravel, I mean, isn't completely level. And um, the fact that the bottoms, you know, the bases of these plants here are not completely buried. Uh, just uh, triggering my OCD and uh, I had to try to fix that. Although I'm still not happy with it. I do think it's a little bit better. Um, I think I can handle this although the gravel is kind of 
giving me uh triggering my OCD still, but we'll see. Currently on the way to the pet store, almost there. I just crossed over a bridge that a footbridge or a bike path that they use uh across the highway here. You don't have to worry about cargo ships hitting this bridge. Uh maybe tanker trucks or semi trucks, but I actually don't think there's any beams or posts or structural support right underneath. So nobody should be hitting this bridge. Anyways, let's get to the store. We're almost there. So we're just about at the store. We're just behind the plaza now that it's in. I don't know. Oh, it's the trash compactor for Target, I think. That's what that noise is. Um, Cause yeah, I'm behind the Target right now but I wanted to say that my phone my new phone came in today I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to come do this first so all future vlogs from here on out um, should be better quality camera wise so something to look forward to alright just got to the pet store so this is the beta I got I didn't want to film inside with everyone watching me everyone that works there and whatnot but this is the beta I got $5.99 not bad let's go take them home and uh, I'm also gonna need a name guys comment down below all right, we just got home with our new little friend here. Again, we need a name. So as you can see, I put in the heater just because it's still cold out. So we're just gonna let him sit and acclimate. It's gonna float him for like an hour probably, uh, as you should always do with new fish. So we're just gonna let him sit in here for an hour and yeah, hopefully in, a, in another month or two I won't even need the heater anymore, but you know, it still gets pretty cold at night, so I don't trust. So, we'll come back in a few minutes and free him into his new home. Alright guys, I have a net. We're about to put him in. So, a mistake that I always used to make, which I'm not going to do anymore is I always used to just pour the fish's water that it came in right in. I usually used to mix it with the aquarium water that I had, or tank water, or bowl water in this case for the beta. Uh, that's not good to do, I, I now know. So this time I'm going to scoop the bait up from his, uh, in this case it's a plastic container, not a bag. I would, if it was a bag, I'd scoop the fish out of the bag. Well, wherever, wherever, whatever the, you know, it was transported in, scoop it out of the water completely rather than dump it in with some of the water. So, that, that's just something that I want to tell you guys that I, uh, I learned since uh, my last time keeping fish and uh, now it's time to put my new beta fish in his bowl. So I'm thinking for a name, uh, at least for the time being, I'm thinking of Ripple because he's blue like water. Uh, I don't want to name him something super original and generic like or you know super like cliche like bluey or uh, I was thinking Sapphire would be, be a nice name but um, I don't think that would be good for a male if it was a female fish Sapphire would be perfect but uh, no I'm I'm thinking 
ocean or water theme, so I was thinking Ripple. So I, I'm liking Ripple right now. So uh, tell me no. I, I'll if I like someone else's comment better, I'll definitely change it and I'll, I'll let you guys know. But that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Uh, let, let's get Ripple in his bowl. All right, you're gonna have to miss out on me scooping him up from here because I gotta have it angled there. All right. Look at that. There he is. There's a little buddy. First air. Alright, so I also have these plants to put in. So these are pothos plants. I'm just going to put one right in on that side. And other one I'll put in right here, I think. Just for them to build roots. All right, can't have a video here without my buddy Lars. So I figured we close out the video with Lars because I said in my old vlogs, can't have a video without Lars because everyone loves Lars here. So even though this was a fish video, Okay. Lars and me are gonna close it out. So and there there he goes. Thank you all for watching. Remember, respect all life equally and I will see you in the next video. Peace guys.